everybody. <laughs> I got them, y'all. I got them. Oh, wait. This way. You this way in my screen. Look at them, y'all. Say hey to Drip. Y'all been asking for him for the past few weeks. Y'all been asking for him. He's here, y'all. Yes. I'm, I'm just here so I won't get fined. Thank you, Vaughn. Thank you. I I didn't feel like putting on the contacts for that. Drip Shady. Wow. Second Eminem reference. I feel like this is racial at this point. <laughs> Drip Shady. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing on this lovely Monday? Well, it is cold and rainy out here. I don't know how it is out there. How is the weather out there? Thanks. Oh, it's hot as hell. I was about to be like Ali from uh, Family Guy. It's hot today. Ollie, Ollie Williams. Ah, it's hot outside. Yeah, I was about to get the point. <laughs> and I know it is snowing up there. Hundreds. Yeah, we're about to get a shit ton of snow uh, tonight. So things Let are looking up. Let it snow. You got to put on Boys to Men. He don't know who Boys to Men is, y'all. Yes, he does. I've let it snow. <laughs> he just found out who the fuck Jodeci is. No, he did not. He didn't know who that was. Elaborate. He been know who that was. He been don't do him. I'm, I'm telling you what I know. <laughs> we got a show to talk about. We're not going to be talking about me, all right? Right. Leave him alone. Uh, so we're going to yeah. get into some things. Uh, welcome today, all Elite with Keeks. Welcome everybody in the super chat in the chats. Make sure you, I guess you could donate in the super chat. You know what I'm saying? Um, keep it respectful in the chat. Y'all know how I do. Uh, we're gonna get into. Some things, like I said in my promo, um, I was supposed to have the Matrix on, but a little dog, you know, took it among themselves and, you know, whatever. Shoot the shit out of it. So I'm not in my Matrix, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm not in battle mode. My Jericho Alex, I'm sorry. I don't think you're supposed sorry. to say that. That's Peter. My bad, Peter. y'all. Peter going to come for you. <laughs> so um, we're going to get into a Dynamite. We're going to get into some Rampage. I'm a skim through ROH and shit, women business, and you know how you know how we do. So we gonna pop it off with dynamite. Um, we start off with dynamite. Um, the dynamite dynamite. Oh uh, shoot, dynamite diamond battle royal. Uh, you had Starks in there, Jungle Boy, the Butcher and Blade, Dustin Rhodes. I don't know why. Orange Cassidy, Brian Cage, Ethan Page, Kip. Saving Matt Hardy, Sean Dean, and Dalton Castle. And the winner of that we saw was Ricky Starks. But it was also some interesting things going on in that Battle Royal, too. So it was a little bit of in-ring shit going on that they, you know, this is around the season AEW like to play with shit to see the next few to start with. So we might get a possible Jungle Boy and The Firm, unfortunately. What 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 y'all think? Thanks. No, you go ahead. No, again, they they gotta start building Jungle Boy as a singles act now that he's done with Jurassic Express and Luchasaurus. That feud's over with. He's gonna obviously be in contention for either the TNT title or AEW World Title at some point. But him facing either like Lee Moriarty, Ethan Page, now Big Bill, uh, former William Morrissey of the firm, like. That'd be an interesting way to kind of get him some more wins because what he was doing in the interim with facing like the Ray Phoenixes and a bunch of other people to just kind of show that he's Jungle Boy Jack Perry now, I should say. Mm. Um, it's he's in his new era, so it's all right. And again, I said, I think in the chat last time that they're kind of teasing Kip Sabian and Orange Cassie maybe having a feud for the All Atlantic title. You saw their interaction in the Battle Royal and then later on Rampage, which we'll get to. But there's some, like I said, interesting moments. The worst part of it, though, was Matt Hardy, Ethan Page, and that whole dynamic continuing to exist. It, it was great when Stokely Hathaway told him to get his ass to the back, but we don't need to keep seeing Matt Hardy trying to turn back time. And Ethan Page, they keep trying to build him up, and he just stays where he's at, unfortunately. What did Ethan Page do to you, Drip? No, I, I've said this before. I think Ethan Page is solid all the way around. I think he's a solid worker, a solid heel. But it's it's just like the Baron Corbin thing to me. Like, you can only kind of get so far. It's the same thing with Baron Corbin. Like, he's 
underrated in the ring. He kind of gets every heel character he's gone over. But Ethan Page is like the dominant heel. No, he's just the guy that made Carter's on the rise fight. Unfortunately, and I think he's com- complacent with that because he's also working backstage. Um, but him having to, I say, fight along, fight with Matt Hardy for the rights of Private Party too. Just like I wish, wish Ethan Page was doing something else, since he kind of took that leadership role of the firm from NJF. Yeah, I'm in agreement with Davis, which is a rare thing. Um, if you ever heard us have any interactions. Uh, Ethan Page, I think I said it last week on this show, on Elite with Keeks every Monday, like and subscribe here at Public Enemies. Uh, he's just a worker. I don't think that's a bad thing. But for the most part, everybody in AEW, e- even that old man, the PE teacher, QT Marshall, has some type of personality. And with Ethan Page, it's just... He's just a wrestler, which isn't bad, but not even that. He's just like I'm the bad guy, like mm-hmm. like he's yeah. kind of a that high school bully that again. It was that's why I think he was the tier below MJF. MJF's the main card heel. Ethan Page is the mid card heel. Like that's how it always kind of seemed. And he carried Scorpio Sky when they were the men of the year. I mean, Scorpio Sky was doing the ring work, but Ethan Page is the one who was doing all the mic work. Real quick to both of y'all or anybody in chat as well. Where the hell is um, Scorpio Sky? Is he hurt? He's yeah, he got injured. Yeah, he's okay. injured. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, I haven't seen him in months. Yeah. yeah. It was like a bad ankle or foot injury, something like that. Yeah, yeah. he's still injured. But I like how you said that because, um, Drip, when you said that he's just a mid-card um, heel, which we don't have a lot of those. We don't see a lot of that. We used to see it a lot during the Ruthless Aggression era, during the 90s and stuff like that. But now that you said it like that, I can look at it like that instead of just like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? So They tried it a little bit with him having that run in the title eliminator tournament was to kind of show, like, let's take this guy a little bit more seriously. But, again, he's kind of back to reality, unfortunately. And, like, he beat Eddie Kingston, he beat Bandito, and he lost to Ricky Starks. Um, and had they had gone the alternate scenario of like MJF, the baby face, Ethan Page winning the tournament would have kind of made sense. And that if they really picked to go with that story, but they weren't never going to go with that story. But it's, it's why I like the Butcher and the Blade as a tag team. They're a great like basic heel tag team. Like they beat up the baby faces behind the, the scenes and then lose in the ring. Like you always kind of need people to play those roles constantly mm-hmm. in wrestling. Like every gimmick is kind of recycled for a new generation. Um, and same thing with roles. That's easy money too. Mm-hmm. Easy money. Um, and Sean then, Dean got a good look in this tournament and in the battle run. He famously had the win over MJF a year ago. Yeah. And those, those of you don't know, he's the scouter for uh, Dark and also Elevation. So y'all saw who, you know, that's – if you're not familiar with Sean Dean, he's the one who's actually, you know, hey, you know, booking these indie wrestlers – you know, y'all make fun of YouTube and shit. That's the guy. So he's the guy that be picking and he sees it all. So and sometimes like I, I have more fun watching. I'm sorry to cut you off, Keeks. Sometimes I have more fun watching Elevation Dark than the main show at times. Yeah, Elevation Dark, uh, as of since, I would say since September has been on a, you know, they need to kind of start adding titles to that. Um, for the indie wrestlers that be on there because they have been booking the same people on there and it has been interesting on there. So, And he has, well, Tony did kind of mention that during the uh, ROH uh, press uh, media scrum too about that. So, um, But uh, moving forward with that, Ricky Starks ended up winning and then MJF come out and tries to do the same shit that he always do. You Scott can't. Boy, you mean? Is that he, what you call him? He scarf boy, scarf boy do scarf boy things, and Ricky Starks ate his ass up in front of the hoes, in front of his parents, in front of everybody, in front of the world, um, in front of the yeah. president. Like it, it was just crazy. He had that look too. Like damn, I'm getting cooked. Yeah. yeah. All right. You getting cooked? Like if I, I've never like Jericho never. When oh. he, Thanks and I were recording that night. And as we were finished, I'm like, MJF and Ricky Starks just had a promo battle. I'm like, I wonder what was said. And then I rewound it. And again, he does the whole like maxi pad, 
He says his tan's horrible to cover up his eczema. He said, your pants are wrinkled. Your shirt's too tight. He just, he, the, I mean, he said he had a terrible Rowdy haircut. He is Rowdy Piper. Yeah. That was the key part that I like. Yeah, Ooh, that's why I was yeah. like, thank you, because I've, I've been saying that. But he, again, he cooked him, and then he said, I'm going to take the responsibility from your plate, little boy. Like, it was like, holy shit. Like, called him a rich white boy. That's all you mean. <laughs> rich, spoiled white boy that cried your way to the fucking AEW championship. That man hey. said, I was living in my car in Austin, hustling. Damn. But you saw the people in the crowd. They did what would always be done back in the day. Like, they got to their feet. They put their hands in the air. They cheered. Like, not just because it was us. Like, they were in Austin, but, like, that, that promo spoke to them and Ricky Starks and anyone who's watched AW can see the star he is. And he's kind of had some stop starts with uh, team Taz, the neck injury being FTW champion. And it seemed like him and Hobbs are maybe on their way to tag gold, but him as a single star, this is what we've been waiting for. And who knows? I mean, it, it was kind of questionable with the way that t- title tournament shook up and him being injured and the way they built up that story. But Obviously, I don't think he'll be winning this Wednesday, unfortunately. But if he's on path to the TNT title, it's definitely his for the taking, which we'll get into a little bit later. He's on the same. I've been saying since last week, he's on the same run as Adam Page was in 2019, 2020. It's the same thing. They just getting him prepped up because we already know who's going to dethrone this man. Who? We already know who's going to dethrone this man. Who? Oh, Mr. Perry. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know about that. Yes, it is. Yes, if you, I have not been wrong. I have not been wrong on who's getting the title. I haven't. I have not been wrong. So I can, I see a jungle boy. It's jungle boy. They're getting Jack Perry is next up. And we're going to have all the uh, 80s and fucking 90s uh, stars and pop stars when it happens because it's Luke Perry's son. That's publicity. 90210 is a classic and it's still a classic in there in white people's eyes and stuff like that. So Jeez, I liked it growing up. I'm telling you, it was gonna be Jack Perry. And when it's Jack Perry, I'm prepared to hear an apology from everybody, okay? I'm ready. I'm sorry, Keeks. I was wrong. I'm I'm ready to hear it, okay? So is uh Tory Spelling gonna be his bodyguard? Huh? Is Tory Spelling gonna be his bodyguard? Shut up. <laughs> She posted him the other day. She posted him on her uh, Instagram. She said, I, I don't know anything about wrestling, but I'm so proud of my God, child. <laughs> I don't know about I'm wrestling. telling you, man, they're going to they gonna be out. He's going to win in front of all of them. All of, you're going to see a bunch of faces. Sony going to make sure they all get there to see Jack Perry become the new champion. That's why that nigga had him on the list. <laughs> you know what's up? He also had Adam Cole, who said, my brain don't work. Like... All right, bro. No, he did, and I was like, God he damn! Did. Like, I'm like leave him, alone. leave him alone. Like, he playing Halo in 3D, <laughs> and they don't even have any 3D. Nah, wow! Well, come on, come on. He's got Britt Baker to to help him with that, though. So, Lucky. I know you're jealous of that. You're very. Jungle Daddy Luke. <laughs> I don't remember him being on Family Guy. Yeah, he, yeah, was, he, was, he was Luke he Perry. Was remember? Him. I ain't seen Family Guy in well, 20 years, but it was like season one. It's that's when Peter Griffin goes undercover at Meg's high school, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I ain't seen yeah, that yeah. in a while. I watch American Dad though. That loud ass theme music. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like you can have it down like at three, and then you can still hear it. And it's America, no Keeks. What do you mean? I be like. Good morning, okay. USA. Hey, I got a feeling that it's going to be a wonderful day. Okay, uh, so next up we had... Shut up, Banks. So next that up we easy. had... <laughs> we had the uh, CNC Championship, uh, Darby Allen versus Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe taught that boy up, beat him like he stole some, beat him like his... Uh, yeah, yeah, man, put that boy to sleep. Didn't he throw him on the uh the gimmick the skateboard? Yeah. I started him on the on the skateboard. Yeah, I was in tears. I said, "Boy, you got two years left on your career." Yeah, that that nigga is not gonna make it. And he well, only he, a buck seventy five. He he said he's 
said he wasn't gonna wrestle long term, but shit. Clearly. Clearly yeah, he's been wrestling long term and look at him. Like look what he's done. You said who? I said Jeff Hardy has been wrestling long term. The only thing that sold him down is his demons. No, but Darby but, ain't trying to be no long term wrestler. He said he's trying to be like a, a director or some shit. What type Didn't of movie is he trying to it? make? <laughs> the sun show, <laughs> the sun show vignettes that he's been doing. Razors. <laughs> Boy, we don't we 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 know about you 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 what it is we heard about you darby right mm-hmm. we heard we we heard and uh yeah Jeff, so, bro perks yeah. help him some samoa joe beat that boy up um i was expecting steen to help him but warlow came out oh, steve boarded ain't gonna do shit these days yes yeah, he said, is uh, yes yeah. They don't, said, "Don't they, do my icon." No, I'm saying he's got to he's got to take it easy for the match against, well, not against with Gray Muda in a few weeks. Like he he's got to oh, yeah, right. rest up between matches yeah. again. That's like he it can't is. do he can't interfere every week. He's got to take it easy. That's and, right. And Keeks, they said one of our goals. He had to get his knee uh, surgery too. It was reported earlier he had to get his knee sculpted or something. So. Oh okay. Well, and he's been up. jumping off of shit the last two years. Yeah. Like, <laughs> rest up, my icon. My icon. You know, I thought Samoa Joe looked great in this match. Thanks, I have been disagreeing on how Joe's looked since showing up in AEW. And I think. Oh yeah, he looks. He looks amazing. He looked good. I think this. I think since coming back this time, compared to when he first showed up, I think he's looked a lot better. I think the talent he's facing is kind of helping a lot of like high flying guys that he. Again, that was his style, the X Division. Like, he would throw the smaller guys around that could take the bumps and do the flips. And Joe would play powerhouse, the powerhouse role, and tap guys out and beat the shit out of them. And I think the match of AR Fox showed that. The match of Darby showed that. The match of Juice Robinson was kind of a, uh, but that's yeah. Juice Robinson. And Juice Robinson's all right, but I mean, it's he's not as good, I'd, I'd say, as those other two guys. But Juice so Robinson is, is missing something. I just can't put my finger on it. Yeah, it's called personality. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah when he was. I look at him and I'm like, it's yeah, something about him is missing. He hey, tries Randy. way too hard with a lot of stuff, like to be a bad guy. But when he was basic, generic baby face with the rainbow tights, he was that worked. Well, like cheer for me, I'm Juice Robinson. When he was in New Japan on that run in 2017, that worked. So you're not going to bully club, Juice Robinson? No, no, not at all. No, Hail to the no. he's one of the guys that hasn't fit that they've picked. Boy, he is the most tan Creole I've ever seen in my life. He not mixed. I thought he he ain't black. Nah, mm, we were just go ahead. This before, Davis, no. go ahead. No, he ain't. I thought he, he was. I, I, I thought he was biracial. I, you and I have discussed this, Keeks, because you said he ain't biracial. I'm like, no, you you oh, asked yeah, it. Yeah. The, yeah, I'm like, He's nah. Right. I thought the same thing when we did the BRP fifty. I'm like, where's Juice Robinson on the list? And I was like, <gasps> and Matt said, drip. When I did when I made the first BRP fifty, I'm like, wait a minute, wait, he. He? I thought that no. boy was about That's right. why I said on last week's BRP, like the Briscoes and Juice Robinson need to form a stable where it's like, are we sure? No, nah, just put him in a stable with top flight. Come on. They, they are. Come on. Well, you know. Him, Shut top up, man. Shut the up, man. Wardlow babe. showed up to save Darby Allen, and they're still teasing Wardlow and Samoa Joe having a feud for the TNT title. Or yeah. Class. Okay. Yeah, so um and then after that we had um Ring Around the Rosie and Willa Yuta versus Daniel Garcia and uh Mr. Um Bucket Hat. Um I uh to be honest with y'all, uh I gave my, my daughters a bath around this time. I did not wanna um I didn't want to see this shit. I like Willa Yuta though. I fuck with you. Yeah, and shout out to Claudio for killing the JAS two times in one yeah, week. Yeah, I fussed with you and, and Daniel Garcia. I just didn't want to see the match, uh, so I gave my my, my kids a bath. Throw for a thuck attack. You don't like Jack Swagger? And his stupid hat. I, I was in the trenches when we had to see him uh, at the WrestleMania against fucking um, uh, Del Rio. There are trenches every year. What do you mean, the trenches? No, that was the trenches, trenches. Like, damn, we really got to see this. That's the secondary title. And that was the fifth most important match. We've had we've had trenches over the last ten years. All right. Next level is coming. The promo is coming, brother. Hold on. Or sister is coming. 
Bang Shanti said she don't like your hat. She said, I "Why don't your give a hat goddamn like what she you? like?" She said, "Why your hat like that?" I don't give a goddamn what Shanti's like and don't like. This this episode like is sponsored by Honey Packs, by the way, fellas. Get your Honey Packs. Make sure you get your Honey Packs. You know what I'm saying? You know it's I'm almost saying? Christmas. Go ahead and knock her wig back so you can get that uh, rental payment. Yeah, go ahead. Get them honey packs. Um, so we ain't gonna spend too much time on the ring around Rosie shit. And then after that, William Regal cut a um a video. He pre-recorded it. Um, he basically like said they do in the movies when the person's dead. Like, <laughs> I read you my life. If I am dead, you're watching this video. Like, it was a great honor to serve you. I am not here. I will always be Blackpool Combat. I, William Regal. Now, I will always be Blackpool Combat, but I am now the Vice President of WWE. Yo, boy, that's a sink, sinking ship, ain't it? No, I mean, I ain't mad at it. I knew he would eventually go back. As a, You know, I get it. You know what I'm saying? He's closer to... <laughs> You're laughing at his look, huh? He, he's, close, he's closer Speaking to the trips. <laughs> He's close to the trips, and and his son is about to go over there. So, you know, as That's a parent, I understand. You know what I'm saying? I got to go over there just to make sure they do right by my, my child. My dear boy, Master Eugene, is my that you? Dear, dear boy. Dear, my dear, dear boy. boy. Dear Claudio. Dear Moxley. My dear, dear, dear Willa you and dear my delicious Excalibur. We are, <laughs> That's what I'm going to miss. The days will... I will long for the days of your mask. That's basically what he said. I, I oh, with y'all. Yeah. That's basically what he said. He, he did a long, I first with y'all a long way, and but for, I gotta go. And for Brian, my sweet boy. Your father will be very proud of you. <laughs> Why well, was the father you never had? You were the son I always wanted. <laughs> Technician. Yeah, Much so he said. Much chagrin. But John Moxley the whole time was like at this, like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, I was like, get on with it, William. Come on, just say I fuss with y'all, but I, I gotta go. It's like yeah. being at a black funeral and they be cutting a promo for thirty minutes. It's nine a.m. Player, can we just get to the mac and cheese and the ribs? Wrap this shit up on Dave Dave Chappelle. <laughs> you need to wrap, wrap that, that up, B. You taking you all the time, William? Up. Yeah, but it, it's all right. I mean, like he, his run there, it was what it was. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. It was basically, mad at it. it was basically a year, <laughs> a solid year. Yeah, like a good year. He was like he was on a best contract. That's yeah. why. That's why it makes me speculate even more that he knew what Trips was up to. I'm telling you, secession. Oh yeah, I mean, no, he thought, Triple H, Triple H definitely was like, I put a plan mm-hmm. in place. We're taking this old fuck down finally. Hmm. Are you with me? And they're like, yeah. sure. And that documentary coming out this week, y'all don't find. First of all, that's business. Vice. Vice is only in the wrestling business to expose it. That's fine. And 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 they got all of Vince McMahon ops on there. Yeah, like I ain't trusting a single thing someone's saying because it's like because then they'll especially also, Cornette is. Well, not just that. They'll put the disclaimer of we tried to reach out to Vince McMahon and he declined to comment. It'll be like, no shit, shit. he declined to comment. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Y'all won't be you sitting stupid myself. Fucks. Like, Water is wet. With, that's what they did with the Ric Flair and Brock Lesnar on the plane watch from hell. Like, we tried to talk to Ric Flair and Brock Lesnar, but they said no. It's like, you mean to tell me Brock Lesnar said no? <laughs> he don't even have no house phone. He got a pay phone. Now you got to send him a carrier pigeon. Like, <laughs> I, got a, I got a documentary of advice. It's called Indie Workers Needing Flights <laughs> to Jacksonville. Banks, don't start. <laughs> I got go. No, he's right. He's right. Don't round start. trip. One hundred and sixty-five dollars and forty-seven go, cents. If you can't go, get a real job. They should already have a real. No, no. Um, we're gonna move forward. Um, we're gonna move to the main events. Um, AEW World Tag Team Championship. You had the acclaim. Ta-da. The acclaim versus FTR. And this is special because being that this is in Texas and y'all already know how the government get down, we had a gay male to main event in fucking Texas. And he's over as the fuck. So and he beat beautiful. them hillbillies up. Them I know y'all governor. God yeah. damn it. It on went the hell in the handbasket. No, nah, somebody had a sign. 
No, I can't. I, I probably can't even say it on here. <laughs> you, because you ain't saying that. Somebody, what in, somebody took it there with the sign, basically. What in tarnation is going on? Like the goddamn country going to hell. They the have... Auckland, because they... unfortunately, we know Nala Rose couldn't can't be booked in Texas because you know. Damn, is it that serious? They uh, uh, Abbott passed the um, no uh, trans or quote unquote drag queen, sh- uh, you know, shows or performances. So basically, if anybody is trans that's like in an entertainment, they can't perform. The fuck is this 1925? Yeah, some bullshit, bro. I can't even. I want to go to yeah. Dallas to move. I ain't doing that shit now. Yeah, man, don't move to Texas. We the Californians think you know what I'm saying. We already got to deal with them. So. Hey, hold on, chill out. No, <laughs> no, no, get out. out, get nah. out. No, aren't I'm you, not. Get aren't out. you the ones putting Greg Abbott in power? Y'all done messed up the housing market. Y'all done messed up everything. Then we see people swimming in the Trinity River. I'm like, y'all stupid. Y'all want to die? Y'all gonna come out Yo, with ear infections? Yeah, man. If hey, you, homie, the water contaminated, you move, If you're from California and you moving to Texas, leave. We don't want you here. Get out. No, everybody moving to Austin, though. Get out. Yeah, don't go to Austin. You might get lynched. Get out. But anyway, is as I was saying, the acclaim match was really good. Um, the acclaim showed y'all boys that they can wrestle. They're not just a gimmick. So it's time to to have that conversation. They are a great tag team. Uh, they're also handling this championship well. Best tag and team out. They beat FTR clean. Clean. So put some respect on the acclaimed name. The only thing mm-hmm. is Max Caster kind of slipping on the freestyle. That's it. Max Caster, I don't you you was funny before the championship. I need you to get back on the funnies. I don't, I don't, you know. No, he he really trying to get into his lyrical miracle shit. I'm like, all right, Rance. yeah, I don't want the lyrical Please. shit. I want the funny shit. Well, bring the funny, to in the ring bring the funny stuff me. back. I don't, we don't like. I don't bring the funny back. I want the funny Max Caster back. I don't want the. I'm trying to prove to old boy that I can rap. What you about to say, uh, Davis? I, but I think he's he's more focused on proving in the ring. He's been stepping it up since that all out match. You said which, what? Is, which is what the catalyst for them having their their run that they're having. Because Anthony Bowen's again constantly being injured, and that's no offense to him because he's the better of the two in ring. Um, that Max Caster, I think, has had to take the role of hot tag or you know get the heat on you so that Anthony Bowen's can come in and get the hot tag. And Max Caster has shown Banks, you know, I've talked about it before that you know he's kind of displaying that early John Cena um, energy. But no, I think it. This one helped again to kind of solidify them. Hopefully, they can have some more matches coming up because they really haven't been. That's the thing about the champions in AEW. Once they get the titles, they rarely wrestle. Samojo is finally bringing prestige back to the TNT title by having multiple defenses on TV, something that Wardlow wasn't doing, Scorpio Sky wasn't doing, Sammy Guevara wasn't doing. Um, but I think FTR, I mean, the acclaimed, if they're going to face Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett next, I'm a little bit worried for them. I think they should have a better team to face instead. No, I think that helps. No, that's out. fine. That works. What, yeah. what, what is what is your problem, Drip? What is your problem with JJ? God what damn it, y'all done said. No, please, though. She about to pop up it's, in the chat. As we just said with Steve Borden having to get his knee scope, it's Jeff Jarrett in 2022. This man wrestled him numerous times 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago. But he in shape, Davis. No, he ain't. Yes, he <laughs> is. Did you not see him? He in the best shape of his life, actually. He can he go is. 10 minutes. That's it. That's and fine. what's he going to do at the end of those 10 minutes? Did you see dun, 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 dun. That's what he's going to do after 10 minutes. Get the fuck out of here. What are you going to do with it? Bastard from 10 minutes. <laughs> do it again. Do it again, Drew. No, yeah, no. Dear, 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 dear. <laughs> guitar, guitar hero ass music. Dang, she ain't even pop. She ain't here yet. She, oh, there she go. Right. <laughs> Dog, he in the best shape of his life at fifty-five years. Tell old. me when I'm telling lies, hearts, because I don't never lie. 
You are lying at you this lie. point. He is in, this, a, he's in great about. shape. He's in great shape for his age. Physically, but not in the ring. Dog, you, what you did want you not see what he was from? doing? You didn't see what he was doing? doing? He's been doing the same shit for 20 years. That's the most simple shit in wrestling. Let me do a drop toe hold for you. And let me just work that headlock. And I'm going to do a leapfrog and like, oh. That's his style. And then, and then gonna... <sighs> Fuck out of here. You couldn't be Ric Flair on your best day, daddy's boy. That's what he came up on. What are you talking about? That's how he was learned. That's how he learned how to work. He in the territory. never drew a dime. Never drew a dime. And then he created another company and they fucking, oh, they. Oh, and they was the best that. company. You talking about TNA, the best company at that time from 04 to like 20, like 08. Why was it the best? Not because of him in the main events. We had AJ Styles. We had Samoa Joe. America's Most Wanted, LAX. Monty Brown. Monty Machine Guns. Monty Brown. Like, it wasn't fucking Jeff Jarrett in the main, main event. Like, let me work 20 minutes so I can not hit you with a sledgehammer. But a dern, 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 like. Shit, Tisa's going to get you, Drip. And I can't. Give a fuck. <laughs> I like that. I ain't yeah. running. That's my guy. Yeah. That's my guy, Davis. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't want title. my. I don't know. I, I know she's six feet win. tall. I look at her like, come on, what you going to do? No, that's, what that's, you gonna do, like, yeah, she bro? Much. Yeah, she tall. The she like I was looking up to her. <laughs> yeah, she bought my height. I ain't know they. Solid I ain't know. Shit. I ain't know they made tall people in the Bronx. Shit, the Jesus, FTR. That's a stallion right there, for real. FTR most importantly lost again. These guys, they're frauds. Talk about it. They've been oh. tricking y'all. Line again. They are a good tag team. They're not great. Thank you. And if you want to play. It was better back in the day, which says, I think, a lot about you personally as well. Keep Hold that on, shit. Then, then head over to the NWA if you want to do that shit. Thank you. Talk about it, bro. They, they mad because the Usos is the best tag team. I understand the Usos being the best tag team, even though I'll say their claim. I understand that because they deserve it. But you fraud... You fake ass Red Dead Redemption looking motherfuckers. You art them working looking motherfuckers is mad. Y'all not popping, bro, at all. You talking about gimmick wrestling or that old technical shit? That's what they was doing. Fucking Their fake gimmick ass. Is older, yeah, like they theme song is a bop though. I ain't gonna lie. Come no, on, it's not. That shit don't oh, slap. You just at keep lying. What is what? Oh, <laughs> she a Scorpio woman. That's all they do is lie. Oh my god, I know. She's been lying to everyone all these weeks, saying I miss Drip, I love Drip, I want him back on the show. She's been lying, to y'all. She's been tricking y'all. She doesn't give a damn about me. I think she do. She got the hair pressed, whipped and dipped. You that's because you're here. That ain't got nothing to do with me, brother. I ain't got no hair that could be Man, whipped why and dipped. You, do, you doing this right now? Yeah, I'll save it. For, uh, you're right. I'll save it for later. I'll drip for that double chase. Okay. No, she going to tombstone. No, she going to tombstone your ass. Look, you right. calling her a giant. Like, right. You can't call a woman giant. Yeah, don't. Yeah, I'm not. Vine, don't, She's don't, a, don't, she, when I saw a picture. You, I, Vaughn. Oh, Vaughn, don't do I, that. Now, no, when I saw a picture of hearts, I was like, I didn't know hearts was this tall. Like, yeah, Bro, I, when I seen her cross there, oh, shit. Okay. I am the Cardi B in the group for real. The, yeah. She's the Megan Thee Stallion, and I'm the Cardi, but I'm from Texas, but she's from the Bronx. <laughs> Yeah, because like usually, not. like, New York people, like, five to 120 pounds, yo. <laughs> all that with walking in. No, no speed, sandwiches. right? With no At speed. all. <laughs> can't run a goddamn. You talking about, hey, can't draw a dollar. They can't do no type of athletics to draw a dollar. <laughs> but, you know, FTR, hopefully this is the start of their downfall. We'll get our ROH. Oh, because they're going back to the feds. Oh, you know. They're going back to the feds. Yeah, I know, but I, but I mean, like. Even when they go back there, the Usos are going to get like, all right, come on. Boom. Boom. And like, count them lights. If I'm the Usos, I'm fucking potatoing them. I'm waffling them the whole entire time. Well, match. first of all, they're oh, they about to get 3D. What, oh what are FTR going to do to Samoans? Nothing, because there's 20 of them. They're going to try that Bret Hart shooter shit. Good fucking luck. Dog, now the fucking Umaga kid wrestling. I'm like, Jesus Christ, yo. How many is it? How many more? That's all they do is they all they do is eat, sleep, have kids, work out. All right, that sounded racial. Let's move on. Okay. Um, what did we talk about yesterday, Tim? 
I don't. We gonna move on to we gonna move on to Rampage. Um, it started off with John Moxley versus the Cinnabon King. Um, that was a good match. That was a banger. Yeah, I love the Cinnabon King. He is so good. I'm a I'm a stand. I stand him. I like him. I said it a few weeks, I don't know, a few months ago. I think my when I was on here, but like he does have Giannis Antetokounmpo's like personality because it's like the foreigner coming to America aspect. Like Giannis was like smoothies, they're amazing. That's right, Vaughn. That's right, Vaughn. That's right. And obviously Takeshka is in love with Cinnabon, but if you want, like follow, if you see his tweets, he's like living in America is great, and he's like experiencing Costco, driving a car. Um, the way he's never again, like. <laughs> <laughs> like like Giannis early on, like he has all the physical tools. He's just starting to develop. He just needs to develop he asked, personality. Do I? What's the tweet he has? He said, "Do I get a car first, or do I get an apartment, or do I get an apartment and then I get a car?" And we was like, "Get a car. We got to get a car so you go to floor eight point B. You got to get a car." But I think he said, "I mean, was a I think what he said when he was in his apartment, he's like, I have no uh power or no no internet or no power but i have a i have a bed or something like that it's like you have to you have to set up your electricity company you gotta (laughs) that should be kenny omega's job help him out help your young boy out low key they did oh they they said it end up being um um who uh who worked backstage i cannot think of his name Um, i think it was dustin Dustin Rhodes. Yeah, I get Dustin is the one who always looks. Yeah, I think it was Dustin that ended up him helping him out because he showed this match. Aside from the obligatory John Moxley bleeds all over the place, this match was great, especially for a TV match. Like, don't start that. I love blood. I love seeing. We don't need it in a regular match. Thank you. That's like, just, it's not a John Moxley match unless he start bleeding. And I yeah, like, that's the unfortunate part about, about a John Moxley match. If and I know there's. Bleeding, I don't want to see it. He got to stop I, getting color every match, though. I'm going to agree with Davis. You don't have to get color every match. I don't care I what y'all say. Argument. I got to see no, him bleed. Again, I, I don't have a problem with people bleeding as long as they do it safely and carefully. But, like, the whole, like, again, he does it every match when it's just, again, a straight-up match. I know, like, in UFC, they'll say guys have scar tissue. Scar tissue so, like, when they get punched two or three times, it'll, like, wow. kind of open up whether whether or not the hit landed that hard. I think that's kind of what John Moxley wants to do. Like he's again big in the MMA and all that. But I like the blood. Once upon a to, time, to it a showed out, and I think next year will be his year. He'll probably win a title next year, whether it be the All Atlantic or the TNT. Atlantic. One blood. Oh, I like the seed of blood. That's what. I'm, never mind. <laughs> then next up on uh, Rampage, we had Fra- uh, Evil Frank Ocean and Edge and Test Baby. Versus Clayton, Bloodstone, and Easy James. Now, this was a squash match, but of course, they are going to build them for a tag. They're going to be a tag team. So it's just building their, you know, momentum to be in a tag division because I think that's where it's heading. Uh, they're going to be the tag the tag team in the firm. I don't know why, though. Like, Lee Morty is good, good as a single star. Like, I don't think he needs to be in a tag team with Big Bill. I think it works mm-hmm. for him. The name is reminiscent of like Sean Shake Redemption. Yeah, no, it's like, my name is Big Bill. Like he and he dresses like a villain in Roadhouse. Like you want your cornbread? Psh, Hell yeah, Roadhouse. Want your cornbread. But, but no, I think as you see, like in the match. Oh, you trying to say he dressed like Steven Seagal? Who said that? Wow, who that did me? say that? Because that's the that third me? reference. That was okay. me. It came out my head. But no, like, like Lee Moriarty's the one doing all the work. I mean, like he has like the charisma, the technical skills. Um, it should be like his. He should be oh. the one facing whoever you the next for the pure title, which <laughs> is what they seem planned. But it seems like him and Hook might run it back, which they had a good a good match a few weeks ago. I'm not gonna be mad when they do that again. Wait, Daryl, put that comment up because I sure forgot. I sure forgot about the ass boys. Yeah, I that's sure what I'm saying. About the ass. Yeah, like can we talk Marty... about them when we get to ROH? Huh. They, they showed up during ROH. My fault, Davis. They, we, we ain't talking about, but we ain't gonna be talking about that shit. Like, yeah, if you, but, uh, we're not getting into detail with them. Nah, with can head. I say? I'm gonna say one thing about ROH. God damn it, you got me here. I'm gonna say one thing okay. about my tag team. And then we are gonna move on to the main event of uh, Rampage: Orange Cassidy and his guest opponent, which was Trent Seven. If you were not familiar with Trent Seven, he was on NXT UK. I know. He's a lot also, of Tom Hardy's variant. Yeah, 
What? He's Luke. Tom Hardy's variant, like in no. Another Earth. That's Tom Hardy. Yeah, he, so. he sounds exactly like Tom Hardy and would look like Tom Hardy if he let himself go. Vaughn, if you want to listen to ROH talk, listen to Public mm-hmm. Enemies, listen to Black Wrestling, listen to all everybody else who put it in detail. I'm not doing that shit. It's too long. I will just, I'm telling y'all who won and keeping it moving. Y'all seen it. If you ain't seen it, that's on you. This ain't Dalton right. Castle. No. Don't don't disrespect Dalton Castle like that. Yeah, Banks, don't disrespect me like that. Boys. I have- no, he do look like Tom No, he Hart. doesn't. No, he does not. God, you need to get some sleep because your eyes are fucking cooked. If anything, he look like he look like uh 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 what's the actor that Chris Jericho had fought? Mickey Rourke. Yes. Not oh my both of you no one well one's wearing glasses, so that makes sense, but both of you are a blind as <laughs> shit. You said this motherfucker looks like Tom Hardy. Am I lying? If Tom this- Hardy were to gain a bunch of weight, yeah, and he sounds exactly <clears throat> like Tom Hardy. So he just looked like every fucking British white dude. Got you. That's how they look. He looks like <laughs> Robert Bar- he looks like Robert Baratheon from Game of Thrones season one. No, he do not. No, yeah, he, he does. does that he looks exactly like Mark 80. Beans and crackers is what they're making over there. Y'all know this man. What? That was me, <laughs> thanks, and drip. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. He don't look like who you look like, Dan Ken. God damn it, since you got accuracy, you know who people look like. Who he look like? If you in the chat, who did he look like? We'll put the put the picture back up and see. Who do he look like to y'all? Uh, you going? Yeah, you trying to get a lot of heat tonight, bro. <laughs> Talk about the match. It was a good match. Again, Miss Orange Cassidy is Mister Rampage. He's Mister Friday Night. No, Miss No Orange Cassidy is Mister Booking Busy. Like he he gonna stay yeah, on. TV. He's a real wrestler, a real champion. He gonna stay on. <laughs> Push your teeth. Rob Zombie. <laughs> which year? You talking about ninety nine, Rob Zombie, or now? <laughs> he said which year. Because he, he down there looked the same, so I got the best up. Chad Gable? Gable? No. All right, Ken. Let's call yeah, it a night, brother. I, Yeah. Chad Gable. Uh, Orange Cassidy stay on TV, baby. He was on TV on Wednesday. He on TV on Friday. Wrestler of the year, Orange Cassidy. He stayed okay. booked and busy. You're going to tell me I'm better put some respect on Orange Cassidy. I love mm-hmm. Orange Cassidy. That, he, that, he that dude. He's not wrestler of the year, but he's he is wrestler of the year. He's second team. Nah. All right. Okay. You want you want to do this? You want to do this skip? He said. No. <laughs> you want you want to do this skip? I just think he's better than your career. He's better. Mm-mm. But no, I think like I said, this match is good. The Orange Cassidy play that comedy. Really well, and Trent Seven coming from British wrestling. That's that was, I guess, like the foundation of British British wrestling. Besides, like holds and transitions, like Banks loves all that stuff, was like for them to be silly at times, and you know, like do like eye pokes and twirls and you know comedy spots. And Orange Cassidy again coming from lucha, you know, a whole bunch of different styles. He's accumulated all over his career. He continues to have a good match with a, a variety of different opponents from all different styles. Like QT Marshall, which is like again, like he's has the basics down pat. Trent Seven has been doing it for years. Again, Orange Cassidy had a great match with Wardlow when he was Wardlow's first TNT uh, title defense. So Orange Cassidy can have a banger with anyone, and he probably will be facing either Kip Sabian or what looks like Dustin Rhodes, who on, who's on this one last ride for real in 2023, because they were kind of interacting a lot on at the end of the episode with Dustin Rhodes coming to the rescue. Which I did not care for. He came down. I was just like, bro, why? Why? Those roads, them selfish ass roads. Okay. That's all I kept saying. I was that's what I said. I came down. I was like, and the crowd was just like, okay. Um well, we well, he's from Texas. So yeah. I know I get it, the hometown shit, but even the hometown was just like the fuck. Well, we won't have to see him next month. He back to that training school, so he might be there periodically on AEW TV. Nice, and he's going to retire next year. I think is what he said. 
and just focus yeah. on the wrestling school, the Rose yeah. Academy, retiring Academy. from the ring. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. I would like to see him uh, in the uh, Hall of Fame as Goldust because Goldust in a uh, fuck Goldust in '97. <sighs> now Banks likes when he was with. Stuttering and, and all that with Booker T, bro. That <laughs> shit used to pop me. I used to be in tears. I was like, when I used to watch that, when he would talk like that, like, <laughs> oh, so, no, no. when they was in 7 Eleven, <laughs> he was tweaking. I was like, damn, he off that wet, he off that shirt. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to just skim through the ROH results because it happened Friday. We ain't even going to talk. If you want to hear it today, make sure you tune in to Wrestle Round, Black Wrestling, Public Enemy, all of them because I'm, I'm not doing it, okay? So I'm going to do the final cards. If you didn't watch it, that's your fault. Uh, you had Roosh and Drillistico versus Blake Christian and AR Fox. AR Fox and uh, Blake Christian won. It was weird, but... Look like they probably gonna continue that feud or something. I don't know. Yeah, but looks like a botched count. Yeah, yeah. So they probably gonna and then turn Roosh it and Drisco fuck them up afterwards. Like yeah, yeah. Um, and then we had Shane Taylor Promotions, Shane Taylor and JD Griffey uh, versus Swerve and Our Glory, Keith Lee and Swerve. Uh, Swerve and Our Glory end up winning, and but Keith uh, Lee won they- that match. You, the other man walked out, and Keith Lee won that match by himself. Okay, I, I was, I. Hey, what the fuck did y'all be eating in Texas? Because how you carry somebody three fit? Well, he bought the same weight as him, but he just carried him like a baby. I said, what the fuck going on? In Texas, I told you it's, it's in the chicken. Okay, it's in the chicken. It's the chicken. Uh, that's, that's like that's Super all Mario I can say. Mushroom. Then it's yeah, in the, the interaction chicken. between she, Shane and Keith that was that was perfect. We need I need that, that match, yo. It's yeah. in the chicken. Uh, then next you had Dalton Castle and the boys, which I am a stand of Dalton Castle, uh, versus the embassy. Um, the embassy ended up winning. Uh, they got the new six-man uh, ROH, uh, six-man tag titles now or whatever. Then you had Daniel Garcia versus Willa Yuta, ROH Pure Championship match. Willa Yuta is crowned the new ROH Pure Championship. Blah, blah. Thanks his match uh, of the year. <laughs> it was a good match. Continue. Continue. Uh, then you had FTR versus the Bite Boys, and uh, the Bite Boys end up getting the ROH tag titles. FTR dropped the ROH titles because you know we know that they go into the feds. So hey, now we just need Dralistico Dr- and Dragon Lee to do their thing to get the uh, AAA tag titles back. You know what I'm saying? Which is gonna happen? What are you trying to say, Big? Reach for the sky. <laughs> this is pro wrestling right here. I hate yeah, FTR and this match is fire. It was a good match. I ain't even gonna lie. The Bite Boys and FCR did put on a good match. Top ten tag team all time. The Briscoes. The the Bite Boys, yes, they was very great. They they did pretty good. So yeah, the Bite Boys is the new ROH uh, tag team champions. Uh, and then after that, you had Samoa Joe versus Juice Robinson, which we was talking about earlier. Um, the dynamics just wasn't. I don't know. Uh, I I I just Samoa Joe ended up winning. He's retaining the uh, ROH TV. Uh, championship and is the true king of TV, as he says. Yeah, <laughs> Rich was and then you had the main event that bullshit the ROH screw job. Um, Let's you talk had, about um, it. The the Uh-oh. screw job. Claudio Casagnoli, uh, Chris Jericho versus Claudio doing the Lord's um, work. The move should be banned from wrestling because that was a screw job, Tony. I don't understand why this call was made. Uh, we uh, ring around Rosie end up winning the championship. Now we he have took that old man out behind the ring woodshed and Rosie. put him down. Uh, this is- what? You spin me right round, baby, right round. Play that shit again. What? Love to see it. Love this is uh this is, this show is now called uh all WWE with kinks. Welcome to All Elite with Drip. New every Monday. We'll be talking about everything in AW ROH. And we will praise the one and only Claudio Casagnoli for ending the reign of tyranny, dishonor. Ken, Ken put that comment up. Uh Ken. Let Claudio spin your ass that long and, and see, okay? Let Claudio spin your ass that long. 
Y'all thinking that shit is the game. That shit is not a game, okay? Let let him spin y'all for I'm a long time. You're trying to spin you like that. You say you're trying to spin me like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Somewhere oh. the climb. Oh, I mean, warm long as you were. Hey, yo, stop. We got a show. Come on. That move should be. I'm trying to do the show, Drip. Hey, did he do him like this? The nigga swung his body. That's not funny, Banks. That move should be banned from wrestling. He should like, and then like swung him into the crowd. Like, no, nah, dude, I would have fallen. Like, like Chuck Banks, remember Chuck with Thunder when he throws the little kid off him? Like, Y'all would have seen me come down there and try to take that man. Y'all would have seen me move, Jericho. Move out the way. Y'all would have seen, y'all would have seen, yeah. Um, the move should be banned from wrestling. This was an ROH screw job. This was worse than Bret Hart's screw job. This is, was terrible. Well, Bret Hart deserved it. Terrible. That's why. Here we fucking go. Yeah. This was worse than Bret Hart's screw job. This was the ROH screw job. And I don't appreciate it. This move should be banned. He could have got the blood, could have rushed to his brain. He could have got paralyzed. That's just the like, alcohol. He don't do that. Who loses a belt? At Outback Steakhouse. Morton's. Anything Morton's. can happen at Outback Steakhouse. It's thieves everywhere. It's, it was a Morton's it's, it's thieves Steakhouse. Everywhere. You never know. This is worse than the screw job. This is the ROA screw job. I, I just, I, I, I don't understand. Tony Khan, you love me one day and you hate Tony me. Tony Khan, Booker of the Year right now. I'm calling it. Well, that's facts, but not for this finish. Period. I'll knock all this over again. Thank you. My goat went through hell and back. Well, he can't walk now, but still. Yeah, I was about to say, like, look at him now. Can't have everything, but I want everything. Why y'all yeah, goats? Have, why y'all goats have to retire? My goat is still main event, and he main event. He is huffing and puffing. Twenty-two. Five minutes into a match, like, <sighs> why y'all go? Why y'all go KC this might be my straight? Last batch. Why y'all go this KC straight last and black, and black people on Twitter? Mine is he man. doesn't know what he's pushing with those eyes. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, my goal is kind of like not to get morbid dead. So now, now we gonna get into some women business before I get mad. Uh oh. The ROH screw job. I don't like it. All it's men should stay out of women business because that's women business. Oh, y'all shut up, okay? Except Shantese, because she's a woman. Um, women business. Um, Tony Chavone and Jamie mm-hmm. Hayter interview. Uh, she put the division over. Um, and she also wants to be a fighting champion. She doesn't want to hold the title like some people. She wants to fight. So um, she said on the interview, um, whoever wins on Rampage against Bunny and Cheetah, she wants to fight them. And we'll get into that. And also on Dynamite, uh, we had TBS Women's Champion Jade Cargill and the baddies Red Velvet and Layla Gray versus uh, Kiara Hogan, Madison Rain, and Sky Blue. Um, and Jade and the baddies end up winning, but we saw tension um, between Red Velvet and Jade Cargill. Red Velvet is sick of this shit, and she's going to eventually knock that bitch out. I mean, not. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Not ah, damn. Cargill out. Um, that was the wrong term. I didn't mean to say that. I, I just got into. I just got into it. I'm sorry. Yes, I did too. Uh, Shanties. I like her Remy. Yeah, that was cute. It was a cute Remy Ma hairstyle. Um, I also want to say uh, they are building Kiara Hogan up. So this is the first step. And Red Velvet looks amazing in the ring. She's been in the boots. She's been working since she's been absent. And we saw it in the ring. So, um, yes. So give it up for the baddies. And um, also, um, Tony Chavone and Soraya 
um, they had an interview and then Britt Baker interrupts uh, to challenge uh, for a tag match on January the 11th. So um, Soraya has to get a mystery tag partner. Um, it's been speculations all over the IWC. We don't know um, who it might be, but people are saying it may be Sasha Banks. Some people are saying Naomi. Um, some is skeptical that it may be Victoria. Um, it's interesting. We never know. We'll see on January 11th. Um, we're going to get into some Rampage Women Business because it was Women Business all on Rampage this week. Um, we had uh, Sheeta and versus the Bunny. And Sheeta took the dub. Um, it was a great, fun match. Um, we also saw Penel Penelope Ford there for her homegirl, the Bunny. You know, they're besties. Um, it was some kissing going on. It was just a whole bunch of things going on. So, uh, yeah, so Shada took the dub, and then we saw Jamie Hayter come out and um, approach Sheeta. So that's going to be a great match, Jamie Hayter and Sheeta. I was looking forward to it. Um, also, uh, Ruby Ho, I'm sorry, Ruby so <laughs> I said Ruby Ho, Ruby for them hoes, um, and Tay Mello. Um, they did a promo. We're going to see them for Winter is Coming. They had a little face off. It was cute. Um Athena also cut a promo against Mercedes Martinez for the ROH final battle, which I had went over. Um, yeah, so we're getting ready for that. And then also at ROH final battle for um, the buy-in, um, we had some women business going on. We had Willow Nightingale versus Trish Adora, and it was a great match uh, between Willow and Trish Adora. If you are familiar with the indies, you have seen them had matches against each other, so you know they have good chemistry. And um, also we had Mercedes Martinez versus Athena at the ROH Women's Champion. <laughs> Oh, Y'all making me laugh in the comments. Yeah, you were doing a white girl from the valley. Like, um, <clears throat> I'm trying to get in character, you guys. Um, and also we had Mercedes Martinez versus Athena for the ROH Women's Championship. Um, and Athena is the new ROH Women's Champion. She is the first Black ROH Women's Champion. She won in her hometown. Shout out to the D. Shout out to Big Dallas. You know what I'm saying? We in this. You know what I'm saying? Um, so she won for the girls at home. And um, for my women business of the week, it goes to Miss Red Velvet. Red Velvet um, was in the booth. She did amazing. She was beautiful. And I love Red Velvet. She, you know, she's just that girl. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for tuning in to Women Business. Okay. Back to As me. As if... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, can I say this real quick? Yes. So I do think the right choice was Athena, not just because Mercedes Martinez was injured and like kind of missed the whole summer to build that ROH title again, but Athena will be able to get quality matches out of whoever she faces for that title, much like how Tony Storm was doing once she won the AEW Women's Championship. And I think, like you said, like Red Velvet eyeing. Jay Cargill's TBS title, that'll be interesting. They've had good chemistry before. That's one of the few people that makes Jay Cargill look amazing, but also Jay Cargill sells for them very well. Um, mm -hmm. And again, I just hope it's true what Jamie, Jamie Hayter says about being a fighting champion. I mentioned earlier, a lot of the champions more often not just become once every three weeks, you know, or once every four weeks on TV. Hangman Page was one really about that action until Orange Cassidy uh, became like that weekly title defending champion, but... The women's women's business looks like it's picking up a lot more in the last six months than the first than the first six months. Um, um, uh, Shantice, uh, I've had a private conversation with her. Okay, we're we're moving past it. Okay, we're moving past it. We're moving past it. I've had a private conversation with her. Chant I, she is I, a, I, I is in love with Jeff Jarrett. She can't judge. Who's she to judge? And I'm just hating because I'm in love with Athena. We've had a private conversation, okay? I've, I've let her nah, know my nah, concerns. She can't, no, no, like I said, she can't cast stones when Jeff Jarrett's her favorite. No, nah, this is what, no. Nah. This hey. is the shit that is dividing the country. We don't need any of this shit. Love who you love. Okay, politician, Davis. I'm just going to say, I feel like the 50 cent me. You know how I feel about you, Athena. What? <laughs> 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 how I sound pissed? 
Shed no, tears. So we're moving. Shed tears. Shed yeah. tears. We're moving past it, okay? No, put her goddamn comment on the screen. I don't want to see what she's it. saying. No, 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 no. I can't we're that, moving past it. No, you it. can't. No. I just no, like no. New York people to do that shit. Facts. I will co-sign that shit. I always got they New York stuff. They, like they can't take it, fucking cowards. For sure. And I like New York, but for sure. I'm all with that. Let's bring <laughs> back the 90s again. West Coast versus East Coast shit. <laughs> I'm all like with Powerhouse Oz, we in the bank. Let's go. We out, here, we out in the struggle. You feel we me? Got I ain't got bars doors like that. We, we you ain't, just, you ain't we never just, seen them screen doors like that. Let's go. I'm, I'm Southern. We was just looking like... Tristan, where you at, bro? Y'all gonna take that? Y'all gonna take that? Y'all gonna take been that? no busy market. Come on. Tristan, where you at? Hold on. Who else from Cali out here? I forgot. What's my guy name? Uh, they not they they on a show right now. I know who you talking about. No, 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 not smart. Uh, my guy that's in the comment. I think Curtis. I oh, I think. Uh, um, enough about the Cali folks. Um, um, drip. Who is your AW wrestler of the week? Claudio Glassignoli, the new ROH champion, two times. He did it. He ended a Chris Jericho. He sent that, much like Tom Brady was sent packing yesterday, go home, be a family man. Chris Jericho, you you ain't got it no more. You cooked. You're done. Finished. Nick Bosa, Dre Greenlaw, Fred Warner, they cooked Tom Brady. And this week, Claudio Glassignoli just like, nah, Chris Jericho's done. Vince Carter, over. Done. Mm -hmm. First of all, he's he's far from over, okay? Don't don't drip. Do I talk about John Cena on here? No. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. I don't talk about John Cena on here. Why do you, you be mean platinum about selling Jericho? rap artist John Cena? Why do you talk movie about movie star Jericho? John Cena? Should that Chris Jericho ain't? Why do you that's talk about good. my Vaughn? Shut up. That's why yo go. That's why yo go can't even see straight. So. He is Shawn Michaels guy. Yeah, and that's Michael why he and he blocking black people on Twitter. So no, yeah, shit. he see all two hundred of us. That motherfucker eye rolling right here. Damn, nigga, 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 nigga. That's how his eye move. I see too many niggas. Who is Mr. Parker? I never seen you before. Is this your first time tuning in? I like you already. Put his comment up. Put Mr. Parker four five six. I like you. Welcome to all elite with Keeks. I like you. Hey, no, like shout out to Sean Michael. Michaels for looking respectfully because he has no choice at uh, Jerrica. Because my motherfucker eye would have been here. Jakara, my would have been here, 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 everywhere. My my go got a platinum single. My go main event eight times in 2022. That's Judas. my birthday plan. And everybody be singing Judas. People got caught singing Judas. They always slandered it on Twitter. That shit was funny. Sounds about <laughs> Twitter. Listen, yeah, so we found, like is that you? I know that ain't who I think it is. Yeah, we saw y'all. Some of Mother. you AW fans that was talking about Judas, we saw you at ROH. They caught you on camera singing it. Oh, it's what AW fans on Twitter. I, I thought it was all the WWE marks that go up for the bullshit that they got. You are the WWE mark. You, you got me bitch. fucked up. I tell you, the last time I watched WWE, you want to know when? Judas Zeus that I'm telling ago. you, y'all. If Judas come on. I'm dancing. Y'all already know. WWE. You think I give a flying fuck about the bloodline? Did the mask skip? Yeah, that's right. He was part of Max, the mask singer. What he was singing, everybody was like, we know that's Jericho. Right, because them, ah, that's how he be yeah. sounding. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Right. That's enough, Banks. Okay. Come on, you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm a Winnipeg, you idiot. That's enough. Okay. That's enough from both don't of you. you. Didn't you miss me? Yes, I do. But I didn't that's say, I don't, I don't talk about your go. Why you talk about mine? Because this is all elite and he's in AEW. What about it? So who's your rest of Banks? No, we do. Keep. No, who's your wrestler, Banks? No, we have to go from a lady to a lady. So, ladies first. No, you got a I'm pretty last. mouth, Banks. I don't know. I'm, you I'm, might be a lady. I'm last. It's my yeah. show. I'm last. I almost called you a word. All right. My wrestler of the week is. Hmm. Oh, y'all think it's going to be Jay Cargill or Red Velvet this time? No, I'm going to throw a curveball. 
it's Athena. You know why? God, you are the fucking worst. <laughs> boy, look at I that. I fucking hate you. Boy, look at that, boy. That's just, that is, you know what I'm saying? That, hey. You hear hey, me? You know how we coming. Uh. You hear me? You feel me? Hey, listen. What I need to say. She could work. She thick as a motherfucker. That's all I got to say after that. Hey, yeah, I play on your too. face. You might have a chance again. No, without the lotion. I'm gonna just tell her, hey, I'm gonna lie. Hey, my mom, why you know that, right? Shout you know, out to the honey Robinson? packs. Show sponsored by the honey the honey packs. Get your honey packs. I definitely got that for her. I play Overwatch too. Yes, we do. Yes. And bang, we have Athena, and have Jay Cargill, and Bianca Belairs. It is beautiful to see. We still have a long way to go. We still this have Kaden more Carter. work to do. Kaden Carter's a tag champ. Huh? Kaden Carter's a tag champ in NXT. Don't forget she, her. She probably wouldn't claim her stuff. She, she. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She probably she wouldn't claim said, it. She said. No, really? She, no, yep. she said some things in the spaces that was basically, uh, I, I don't want to be acknowledged as. Oh, so she's Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, her pops is Jamaican too, so. Yeah, she said, yeah, yeah, she said she doesn't want to be, you know. And yeah. then she also went along to say she don't see color and she never, some bullshit, basically. She took it, it disappointed me, too. I was like, bro, you didn't, all right, bro. Is that why them fake-ass contacts cut me when I seen her in person? She, oh. And she gorgeous, too, gorgeous, pretty. Then she said, and I'm like, creature. bro, really? What do you mean? And we are we always forgetting Booker T? Again, he was rooting for Pretty Deadly over the over the New Day? Come on. No, what Booker? Because he ain't on New Day. Yes, okay. he had it on New Day. He's still, black he still the problem? does. Action in the last 10 years? Yeah. He's still, did, when they won, did you hear what he said on comments? Like when he oh, was, hell no. I said, hey, I'm kind of with oh, you. Hell he, no. He still to this day hate on New Day. I ain't got no problem with it. <laughs> I think it's more, I think he really hate on Kofi Kingston the most, though. To be honest with you, he got some I, he got some kind of beef with him. I think I it's really, jealousy. I really yeah, it is. I Just really jealousy. No jealousy in the air, and I I can tell. I really ain't got no problem with that either. He yeah, he was pissed at the new day one. But he's still your wrestler of the week. He like Kofi Kingston's that nigga. That's why he jealous. That's all. Mm. And my AEW wrestler of the week goes to Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks is AEW. Ricky Starks is AEW wrestler of the week. You, you know the promo, he, his ring work. He's ready. So spared him out of his shoes. Yeah, he's ready. So that is my AEW wrestler of the week. Now, everybody, we gonna get into. I know a lot of you didn't get to see, so I'm gonna post them on here and say it on here. I'm uh. Y'all know next week, I mean, yeah, on the 19th, December 19th is my first annual AEW Awards. So we are going to say the nominations. This is not a debate and the decision has already been made. This is the Grammys. This is the Oscars. This is the awards that matter. OK, um, so we're going to get into the nominee. Let me get my notes out so I can make sure I announce these correctly. Um, so we're going to get into the nominations. Uh, pull up the first picture for me, uh, Banks. First things first, we are going to give our flowers to Billy Gunn next week. Billy Gunn is my recipient of the Legends Award of 2022. Billy Gunn deserves his flowers. We're going to give Billy Gunn his flowers. Uh, if you don't like it, I don't give a fuck, okay? We're going to give Billy Gunn his flowers, okay? The ass man. Yeah, so shout out to Billy Gunn. If you in the chat, put your flowers in for Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn put in 30 You have to years. put your asses in. If yeah, put Billy. your asses in. <laughs> Put your suck it in. Athena, uh, you heard him? You know, you know, he 30, 30 years in the game. Uh respect Billy Gunn. So go ahead. Put your flowers in there. Fuck him. Um, so we're gonna get started with the nominations. Put up the first one for me. Yes, ma'am. AEW MVP of the year. The nominees is Jamie Hayter, John Moxley, Ricky Starks, Penta. And Sting, yeah, of 2022. That is my nominations for MVP of the year. Let's go with the second one. AEW Babyface of the Year. We have Tony Storm, Jungle Boy, Orange Cassidy, 
Adam Page and Eddie Kingston. Yeah. Whoa, I know, I know. Let's go to the next one. AEW Female Best Dress Awards. The nominees are Jade Cargill, Britt Baker. We have the lovely shit. We have <laughs> we have the lovely Thunder Rosa. We have Sheeta. Sheeta can dress. Don't sleep on her. And we have the phenomenal, the phenomenal Mrs. Jungle Boy. <laughs> That's a lucky bench. I know. <laughs> hey, he know how to pick them. Uh, he definitely know how to pick them. Let's go to the next one. AEW male best dress. We have Christian Cage. We have Look at Warlow. We have Penta. We also have Ricky Starks. And we also have Andrade for AEW Best Dress of 2022. Now, if you can't dress, this ain't for you. And ain't nothing to debate about, okay? Um, next up, we have the AEW Rookie of the Year of 2022. You have Roosh. Now, the rookie of the year, it is people that have been either, you know, they moved to AEW. So it's not people that's like up and coming. It's just the people that came to AEW type shit. So it's the rookie of the year of AEW. So you have Roosh. You have Mr. Ring Around of Rosie. You have Athena, Keith Lee, and Swerve the Swerve. about to be mad. <laughs> Next up, AEW Veteran of the Year of 2022. You have Sting. You have Chris Jericho. You have uh, shoot Brian Danielson. You have Christian Crage, and you also have Billy Gunn. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's the war Billy Gunn is getting? He's getting. This is. You can do your own drip. He's getting a recipient. Are they more or less the same thing? In a way? Mm. You you never watched the BET Awards, have you? Of course he has. Yeah, I, I dig that Waka Flocka guy. He's kind of hip, hard in the motherfucking plane. Have you watched the BET Awards before, Drip? It's the it's it's like the BET Awards. Thank you, Malik. Drip don't know. Like time she even over, yeah. But it's he's up for the that's basically the same award veteran of the year as legend of the year in a way. It's the same thing. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, all right. It's Black a legend. Know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they yeah, gave James it's, it's, Brown yeah. the legend award, but then they yeah, gave somebody else like a, yeah. yeah. What I, I'll send you the BET when no, I'm saying it's one. it's no, it's a way to give multiple people awards, but that's more or less the same thing. It's again, that's why award shows are stupid. No, the, just the, the Grammys, y'all white people, the Oscars, what y'all be doing? And what do you mean? Now, look people. what you done started. Like, now people ask the stupid questions in the no, chat. sell it, but y'all white people be doing the Oscars and the best award. I've told best you how many actor. times the Oscars don't matter, goes to, but we still watch that. bullshit. I saw, I don't the, watch that. shit. I saw a fucking jabroni. Thank you, Malik. Thank you. That's 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 what it is. It's it's just like the BET Awards when they, they don't do put the it in the Veteran of the Year category. It's, it's, it's not the same thing, Drip. Okay, can you put up the next one before I get mad? <laughs> oh shit! All right, we have the AEW Most Improved of the Year. We have Hook, Max Caster. Mm-hmm. Warlow, Jungle Boy, and Powerhouse Hobbs. Okay. This guy is fucking blue, Malik. Put right. the next one up. Yes, ma'am. Okay. We have the AEW female most improved. You have Jade Cargill. The Bunny, Anna J, Penelope Ford, and Tay Melo. She's not going by Tay Conti no more. I don't know why. She's she ain't heard of that guy. 
No, it was her ex's last name. Oh. I know that. Is that a bitch? Stop, stop yawning and put the next one up. I'm sorry, boss. I was tired. Okay, we had the AEW Big Man of the Year Award. We have Powerhouse Hobbs, Luchasaurus, Warlow, Lance Archer. Shut up, y'all, because I, I don't want to hear it. Mm-hmm. And Keith Lee. <laughs> That's the Big Man of the Year 2022 in AEW. Now put the next one up. We have the AEW faction of the year. We have the best friends, House of Black, the baddies, hmm. Jazz. The last I, I keep, <laughs> I actually said the, the porn instead of the right one. You were going to say, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> it is like the black porn. Come back, club. You know, y'all know. <laughs> About to say the Black Combat Club. Shut up, Banks. <laughs> okay, Desi. Um, next one. Now we have the AEW Match of the Year. We have the first one: Hangman Page versus Cinnabon King. Y'all remember this one? Oh well, if you don't, I have the year. Uh, on my notes, but I don't feel like scrolling on because it it's not in order. Um, and then the next one, we have the Forbidden Door that happened, Will Ospreay versus Orange Cassidy. Next one, we have Full Gear. It was Tony Storm versus Jamie Hayter for the uh, Women's Championship. Next one, we have at All Out, it was Chris Jericho versus Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson. I'm sorry. And then the last one we have, it was Swerve Not Glory versus Lucha Brothers at uh, Dynamite. That is the AEW Match of the Year nominations. Go to, I think it's tokivideo.com. You can find AEW matches online. I seen that site, big, big fella. <laughs> yeah. No, it's how I've been catching up on like AEW matches to do them for white noises. That yeah, website, just, yeah. Just send a website for reference. No, I'm just laughing at you because you just like. <laughs> yeah. Put the next one up. All right, we had the AEW trios of the year. The reason why the elite is not on here because they were suspended, and it's only fair. Okay, <laughs> y'all, it's only fair. Um, AEW trios of the year. We have Death Triangle, House of Black, and Best Friends. Those are the nominations. Nominations. Next up. Next up. AEW Women Business of the Year. You have Jamie Hader. Tony Storm, Jay Cargill, Thunder Rosa, and Britt Baker. Those are the nominees for AW Women Business of the Year. Next up, AW Male Wrestler of the Year. You have John Moxley, Tupac, Pac, Tupac's back, Chris Jericho, Brian Danielson, and Orange Cassidy. It's no debate because these 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 people had a phenomenal year in 2022 in AEW. It's no debate. Next up, I'm, uh, am I missing something? Yes, ma'am. Oh, well, there you go. AEW pay per view of the year. You have AEW Revolution, AEW Double or Nothing, AEW Forbidden Door, AEW All Out, and also AEW Full Gear. The pay per view of the year. All right, and final one. And the final one, the AEW Moments of the Year. This is just like Album of the Year for the Grammys, okay? You had when Okada showed up, Sue Dynamite, Christian's heel turn against Jungle Boy, Powerhouse Hobbs heel turn against Ricky Starks, Soraya debuted, Kenny Omega's back. Chris Jericho be, had uh, winning his eighth championship. Uh, the backstage brawl between CM Punk and Ali. <laughs> <laughs> the only time CM Punk's on here is all right. That's right. Just a that's part. Right. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Keith. Yeah, that's right. This it's only fair. 
And also the acclaim winning the tag team titles. That is the AEW Moments of the Year nominations. Um, <laughs> you know, absolutely. He get he get an award for being a prick for starting <laughs> shit. You know, where's award. your award then? I don't never get no award for shit. Not so even to be an asshole. That is the A keeps the AW nominations uh for my awards. The awards is next Monday live. I will be in my Sunday's best, and so will Drip and Banks. Nope. Huh? Yes, you will. Sunday best. Be, I won't be here. Is what yes, I'm you will. Yes, you what will. What you mean? Yes, you will. I gotta wear a suit, Auntie. Yes, you do. I ain't wear. I I ain't got no suit. You you gonna have to find something. I get. I'm gonna have. A, I have a collar shirt on, but I ain't getting no damn. Suit. Okay, you can, too you hot. can wear a collar shirt. Bang. Yeah, I got you. Drip. You have to dress in your Sunday best. I just like. Ally yeah, Irish. I won't be dressing good. But I just won't be here. He don't dress properly. This motherfucker dressed like an extra in a damn London crime show. No, he don't. Yes, he do. You ever seen Italian job? That's how he dressed, like Marky Mark. Banks, why every time I look at you, you change your head? Or like you, Ray J. That's hey, what he, that's yeah, he's trying to be clever. <laughs> trying to be clever. All right, yeah. guy. All right, pal. Yeah. Yeah, so that is the uh, nominations. It's not no people's vote. I have already made my decisions. Um, this is the win. Grammys. I, I, am, I am the committee. I am the board. You know what I'm saying? So um, don't be surprised when the match of the year is Chris Jericho versus Brian Danielson. <gasps> what? what? This is actually the most unbiased that I have picked, okay? And I will send them who I picked. And then I'm gonna be like, see, I told you, because if it was up to me, Jericho would win everything. He'll be nominated for everything exactly. and all of that. But y'all lucky I didn't do that. I almost did. She like me with Jay Cargo. I got Jay Cargo winning every goddamn thing. I put her in every category. Oh, oh male wrestler of the year, Jay Cargo. Y'all That's lucky. Y'all lucky I ain't. I, I would have been biased just like PWI. I would have did just like them. I would have been like, you know what? Do I'm it. just, it's your show. You can do whatever you want on your show. No, PWI I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I want to let y'all that support me. I'm just. This is my way of showing y'all that I be paying attention to what I. You know what I'm saying? Because some people they just do content just to be doing it. But I don't do that just to be doing it. I actually pay attention and I like this product and I have fun watching this. And I. This is basically me, my reassurance of showing y'all that I know what the fuck I be talking about. I just be like everybody else. You trying to get a WWE job? <laughs> hey man. So make sure y'all like and subscribe uh, next week, next Monday, December 19th. is going down right here on All Elite with Keeks. You will see Uncle Banks in some type of gimmick. I don't know. Maybe I might just get a polo. I might be Young Dro. Give me a lime green polo. You feel me? But either way, I'm going to have a hat on. You better I'm not doing. wear no lime green polo. Shitting me. I'm like, I get a lime green suit. That's my favorite color, boy. I come on here clean as a mother. I might take the hat off. Y'all just gonna see a body with line, bro. I'm gonna look like That's a sprite. My favorite color, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna look like sprite if I do that. Um, um, if, if you do that, Banks, um, Banks, don't embarrass me, okay? Don't, don't, don't embarrass week. me. He, he embarrasses me every hour, to be honest. Type two. <laughs> I'll get a text and be like, why do I, why do? I love this man. He's my brother, but this man, I can't. I can't. You embarrass me. Enough. You embarrass but no, you'll be going to Winter is Coming. Speak on that. What are you looking forward to about Winter is Coming? Yes. Um. To all that are in Dallas or a Dallas resident, I will be at um, Winter is Coming. Um. You could speak. Um. You could say hey. Um. Don't be weird. That's all I ask. Um. Last time it was one person that was being really weird about it, and you almost got beat the fuck up by me and my sister. And we don't want the we don't want that. Okay. So just please keep it cute. You know what I'm saying? I don't. You know I am nice. I speak back. I have hospitality. Y'all know that. Um. If you met me in person, you know I have hospitality. I always speak when I walk in the room. That's just how I am. Um. 
So yes, I'll be at Witzer's coming. I'm looking forward to uh, the four peat of uh, the uh, Dead Triangle and the Elite. Uh, I get um, um, sir, uh, Randy, Randy, Randy. Um, he talking about everybody else. Oh, okay, I feel like we were deodorant. I thought you was talking about me. I feel like you okay. can't just. I, I'm sorry to cut you off. People, y'all can't just wear or the people that's gonna be there. They can't just wear deodorant. You gotta wash your ass, then put deodorant on. <laughs> Like deodorant and hot yeah, ass do it all. Yeah. 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 So be take a, a shower. I'm gonna take, take a weights, Get a I'm clue. Gonna, I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures. Um, yes, I'll be there with uh Miss Mika from uh Women's Wrestle Talk. Uh we'll be there together. Uh I, I brought my girl outside, so um we'll be at uh AEW uh winter is coming. Uh you know, speak, we nice and stuff like that. Somebody, um, I told you somebody wants your autograph, right? Oh, you're talking about old dude that hit me up. Um, Eddie. yeah, he yeah. that's my guy. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get to make ROH, but I'll be at AW Winter is coming. Um, some people that already hit me asked me, Yes, I will be there. I already got my tickets, I, I've been had my tickets, so yes, I'll be there. If you see a girl with a blinged out cowboy hat, that's me, okay? I How have much my you cowboy hat on. Yeah, I have my cowboy hat on. Y'all know how I do when I, I go to the uh, autographs. Oh, and yeah, he... I sign autographs um, and all of that. You know, how much you charging them for it? I'm not charging that. I, I don't need your bread, okay? Shit, um, the wrestlers do it. They need it. I don't. <laughs> you say a name, I say a name. Never mind. They need it. I don't. I don't need it. But um, yes, I'll be at Winter's coming. I'm looking forward to that. I really wish um, it was Jamie Hayden versus Sheeta Wednesday, but I look at Ruby uh, for the pose and Tay Melo. Hey, House of Black will be in action too. They'll be back. house niggas. Yeah, House That'll of Black, and too. also the main event. Um, um, MG. Uh, shoot, I bet. <laughs> MGK versus. <laughs> I don't know why he was in my head. MGK. Because <laughs> he right there next to you. Yeah, I'm right here. Don't this salt drip like that. He don't look nothing like him, GK. You shouldn't. He me. look better than him. The Mickey Mouse tattoos and the pale skin. Look like he writing on the damn table. No. No. No, no, no. Hey, I'm the hoes. I love Ruby Soho. Ruby for them hoes. I'm going to sing that too when it come out. Ruby, Ruby for them hoes. Hey. <laughs> it keeps on doing <laughs> Ruby, Ruby. Somebody did a, a, a video of all, all the shit that he be singing because he be yeah. singing like everybody's theme song. Oh, 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 oh. like Jungle Boy. <laughs> Boy, that be his CT making him sing that loud. Hey, if Keeks don't get a shirt, I need y'all to give me a claim shirt, but not the, the Scissor Me Daddy ass. Pro Wrestling Tees exist. That's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Scissor Me Daddy. Fuck them. I don't want to give no money to Pro Wrestling Tees. They take you fucking a month. Trump? Huh? I ain't Chris Jericho. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that tag team work. <laughs> exactly. Hey, hey. I still got it. Hey, okay. All right. I uh, yeah, don't bring I, that up, okay, y'all. I mean, it's fine. I already talked about it last week. Some of my favorite artists are probably What's that? Uh six I said, hey, hey, hey now. S- settle down. <laughs> That's right. The Rock did the same thing. It's all right. Right. <laughs> he, he do a lot of stupid shit. But that's besides Speaking the of The Rock, uh oh, I got to slander him one more time because... Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> he get charged up. <laughs> he, do he thought that. he was the man. He thought he was going to save DCU to glory. Uh oh. Y'all done got he him riled up. Send him on to glory. Just for Warner Brothers to be like, you know the fuck what? It looks like we can only rely on Batman around here. Because you can't get the job done. You didn't get the job done. We lost money. We pissed off. Y'all heard the news. Warner Brothers lost, they said, 200 mil. And they, like, funded almost a lot of that to even produce the movie. The Kadem was made with $5. Stop it, Vaughn. The best thing about the Kadem was fucking Santino Morella cut a promos about it. Drip, did you like that movie? Didn't you like that movie? Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all 
Did you like it? What movie? Did you go see it? No. Why not? I already told people where I'll speak on this movie when I finally seen it. That'll be at Banks vs. Davis Patreon. $5 sign up if you want to hear my thoughts about Black Adam and Dwayne the Fraud Johnson. Thank you for that. He is is who we thought he is. (laughs) That's hilarious. Hey, that's what I said. Hey, bro, get him the fuck out of here. Why would you go back to the place you used to steal at? You ain't you hustling. I went back. back what do you say? I went back to the gas station to buy mm-hmm. all the Snickers I stole. Every day I would come here, I'd steal a Snickers after my workout. And now, because I'm trying to win y'all's approval again, I'm gonna buy a bunch of Snickers. With the, the two dollars I had Peace in my out. pocket. Like dog. Hey, I only had two dollars in my pocket. He probably was like, hey, you the owner I stole from? No, no, my hey. friend. I don't know. Hey, cut. Hey. <laughs> hey, cut. Hey. <laughs> hey, homie. Hey, shoot the way, cut. Hey, you just stepped on my sneakers. <laughs> hey, let me buy. Hey. And he goes in there. Hey, can I buy 50 Snickers? Hey, homie. That's yeah, the whole inventory right Let me right talk there. to you like this. At Terramana, $7. <laughs> we lose money with Black Adam. XFL. I couldn't make it in the NFL. Let me talk to you. What he say? Um, what he say? Congratulations to uh, Black Panther too. Um, it's no war. We're all that passive aggressive ass. Congratulations. We know yeah. you was mad. That Triple H said mad. that once he became in a person. You know, uh, NXT versus AEW. You know, it wasn't really much of a war. We didn't really look. We might have lost eighty of the weeks, but you know, we. We didn't look at that as a war. It was our, it was our developmental. Uh, so are we like, so you agree that is developmental? Because <laughs> for the longest you said it was. No, it's 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 again, fool me, fool me once, fool me can't get fooled again. That that was what Triple H is trying to say. Like, see, what had happened was. Uh, <laughs> So Dwayne Johnson can prepare to see him in Royal Rumble because he's trying to get that 10% back that he lost. Um, trying so to get gonna, that. Oh, oh. <laughs> he going to come and lift you some blood. Hey, on everything I love, do people really want to see this shit? What, Tribal Chief versus uh, The Rock? Who the I, fuck wants to see that? I, I kind of do. I kind of want to see. This Mama. motherfucker can't stand up long drink. enough. Soon he gonna do stupid ass leg day the day before doing my leg day, getting prepared. Hear that the iron paradise. As soon as that fucker go in there, bro, that motherfucker leg about to fly off. Okay, so it looks like you're doing something something else a little bit. Time to go. Yeah. That way, oh, if you yeah, no, 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 keep doing keep doing that. Yeah, I was about to say, like Hold one arm drag. Sponsored by Honey, Honey, Honey Pack. <laughs> That's what he be doing though. He gonna come back. You, you gonna hear his music? Doom, 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 doom. He one years old. He two hundred sixty pounds. He gassed up on steroids. He is not. His heart gonna be. That motherfucker gonna be doing it three sixty. He said, "Who gonna carry this match? Roman has no choice but to to carry it." Roman's about to be yeah, ass. He literally, yeah. He has no choice but to carry it. If you yeah, see especially Roman. after Dwayne pulls his quad five minutes in. Yeah, no, he too. Bro, he all Roman up. has to all Roman has to do in the promo is say, "You failed at DC." You know how he tried to talk. Well, black a lot now? of people have failed at DC. That's like that's no knock. I mean, sure. you know how he be trying to talk black. You you failed, bro. <laughs> Ken, he 51 and off the juice, bro. He can't, he ain't gonna be able to go, yo. Y'all gotta let that shit go. I, I'm older than a lot of y'all for the most part. Like, dog, I grew up in the attitude era when the rock was, he's fat, but he's swole, all right? He, you know what I mean? I grew up when he had the Samoan body. Bro, King used to, King used to roast rock every chance he got. (laughs) He's fat. He was like, dog, I grew up in that era when he was eating Wendy's and working out. You feel me? Having matches with Triple H. Try the McNuggets, you fat son bitch. Right. 
Like, bro, dog, it, it ain't gonna happen. The honky tonk man could not stand him. I don't know what the, <laughs> well, the honky tonk this... man. The, ha- the honky tonk man. Honky tonk man's cousin is Jerry Lawler. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't gonna was. listen to what honky tonk man says when his cousin is banging <laughs> you know, underage women. <laughs> the rock was like, <laughs> he used to say, like, uh, what was the uh, what was that pay per view that honky tonk was tonk. like guest uh, commentating with King and he was just going on about. I'm like, bro, what is his beef was? Let me tell you about this rocky mountain. Let me tell you. Hey, no, nah, he fresh out the pen. Like somebody said earlier, no, nah, he legit out out the pen. He at that penitentiary, y'all. He he yeah. he's he's about that drama. Okay, he fresh out. He fresh out the penitentiary. He been doing push ups and stuff in his cell. So. Yeah, don't you know? Yeah, he just MVP right now. He, and I think he got four kids, and he only twenty years old. I said, "Boy, you done lived a life, ain't you?" NBA young boy. Type shit of wrestling. He about to be fucking everybody up. It feels all this because no, it ain't the Rock no more. Like Drip always be saying, "I can't believe I just call him Drip." That's how I know. <laughs> like like Davis be always saying. It's it's two different people. Well, according to Shantice, it's three goddamn people. I don't know why she said the rock is a clone. Said that. She said he's a clone. Oh my said God. She said he's a clone. I don't know what <laughs> <laughs> he's one to talk. He got love handles. It's fucking hilarious, yo. Why are you saying a grown? All I know is Dwayne Johnson. You're making Vin Diesel look right these days. Um, Vin Diesel rescued Brittany Garner from Russia um, with the gang. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to lie to my grandkids about it. I'm going to lie like I've never lied before. I'm going to be like... Nah, you've been, no, you like you've been lying to these people about you and me. Yeah. Oh, Lord Jesus. I'm about to go piss. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> what did Y'all I lie about? I'm about to start this down. Uh, limit date shit. Yeah, let me go to the bathroom. What did I lie about? Uh, what do you mean? What have you lied about? What are you talking about? You're saying, come home. My husband's coming home. This ain't a home. It is a home. No, nah, this is a graveyard. Okay, we were just cuddling, though. No, we were. Yes, we you were. And him, you and him, maybe. No? Yeah. I, I, I ain't her type, brother. I can get a 10. <laughs> Bass going to hell. <laughs> yeah, y'all. It's who got the popcorn? It's no popcorn. Drip just showing out in front of company. No, it's true. He's just showing out in front of company. Mm-mm. You drip. We was literally. What? Literally, just what? I'm. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. What did Ken just say? No, no, no. Go ahead. Come on. You're never out of lost words. Come on. You never had a lost words. It's hilarious. Drip. Yeah. I was just cuddled with you. Must have been someone else. Like it has been the last, what, two months? I don't know what you're talking about. Is these yeah. the people that was just working on the stuff in the house? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, hey, you wanted to be in the streets or in the streets? I don't want to be in the streets. It's by cold. myself, it's fine. It's fine. It's cold in the streets. I don't want to be there. I don't know. That's all right. That's all right. You made your choice. It's okay. You know, I thought we built something special here. We did build something special, but you, nah. but you had other obligations. You had to be with your friends over there. Like I said, this will be my second to last appearance. Last week will be my last appearance. So. No, it won't. Yes, it will. Yeah. No, it won't. Y'all, he breaks my heart. Like, he breaks my heart publicly. He's just like Drake. Oh, my God. What do you mean? You know how Drake is? Like, he got to talk about it and shit. And then... Oh, so I can't talk about my feelings? I'm now I'm the bad guy for talking about my feelings? How are you talking about your feelings if I was just cuddled up with you yesterday? You trying to show out in front of everybody. 
It's all right. Let's wrap up the show. I got somewhere else to be. Like where? Why does it matter? It does matter. Well, you can follow me on Twitter. Can you do something for me? (laughs) Can you do a little rich flex for me? (laughs) You can follow me on Twitter at Davis, a.k.a. Drip. Instagram, Davis Cullen DC. Black Wrestling live every Thursday night on YouTube. Black Wrestling Patreon is, is where I do white noise with Cal. I tried to get Keeks on the show a few months ago, but she said, fuck off. I don't want to be on your stupid no! show. Um, but yeah, you can catch me with Banks every Sunday live on YouTube, Banks versus Davis. We also have Banks versus Davis Patreon where we do bonus content. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I got to take my glass off because he lies, y'all. Hold on. He lies. I would never say nothing like that. Banks, where can people find you on social media? Uh, before we get into that, just, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Banks, where can they find you? What is your? We, we, do we not promote Mama Keek's show right now? Yeah, the, after we yes, plug it, anything else? Because that's the final plug. What? No, that's that's more important than where you can find me at. Next week, my mom want me to promote y'all. Next week on the twenty third. It's the Cowboys and Eagles Christmas party. If you're in Dallas, if you're in town, make sure you come out to the Cowboys Eagles Christmas party at Zuri Restaurant and Lounge, December 23rd, 117 South Watson Road, Arlington, Texas, 76010. It's free. Uh, if you want to pay for a booth, it is 150. You can contact me and make sure you wear your best NFL gear. Again, it is next week. On the 23rd, the Cowboys Eagles Christmas party. There you go. I'm on my way, actually. I'll be going to that. Okay. Make sure you get, yes, make sure you get your honey packs and make sure you get your wings. Just watch football. I don't think you want to be hard up watching football. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna watch football. Yeah, the party gonna turn into some else if you yeah. hear people, a bunch I of people mean, take the honey back at the same time. It's gonna I turn into a ass orgy. But unless you find Zeke to be cute, then go ahead and you take that. Fellas, make sure you get your honey pack. Blow the blow the back out, uh, gang. Shout out to y'all. Um, Banks, where can I find you? Hey, man. I tell y'all don't follow me, but if y'all want to, I am not Banks on IG. Don't follow me on Twitter because I barely use that motherfucker. So follow me at I am not Banks on IG. Partner Banks on TikTok. If you, I don't post shit on there. If you want to just see, if you want me to send you some funny shit, that, that, that's where you follow me at. That, Otherwise, that's... that that's it. Other are some good women if you like that. Uh, otherwise, Banks that, and my dad are like, hey, look at this funny video on TikTok, and I'm like, it's ten thirty at night. That's the best mean, time to look, bro. They yeah, he be sending me six talk videos too. I be laughing. Ah, ha. Boy, it be at night. It when be they funny. Go, them thing, yeah, bang, bang, bang. There's a couple of them. You feel me? At night, they be on there. You hear me? You understand? But otherwise, not. Man, what y'all nasty is on, man. Y'all nasty. Yeah, there's one over there. She, you know what I mean? One of I know you ones. ain't talking. Yep, I'm out. <laughs> Y'all know where to find me. You can find me in St. Louis rolling them buzz. <laughs> we can't sing that no more. Ali and Murphy Lee said we ain't got pay. <laughs> Shut up, man. He said, no, you ain't gave us shit. No, nah, y'all can find me at uh shit. What is my Twitter handle? I be forgetting. Oh, Lee Keeks. Yeah, that's yeah what they said. Cause I be forgetting. I'm I'm still um I'm, I'm still used to my other account. Go Dash ahead, Steve. Two oh three is not there no more. Go ahead, DJ. Go ahead, center. Oh well, I mean, if you want to, you still can. Right. You can still you can send the twenty dollars. I don't believe shit. Nelly got to say, Shanti, stop. Fuck it. I ain't got nothing to believe about that man. And I love Nelly, but I don't believe shit he say. 
Because Murphy Lee was supposed to drop a second album. He had a first classic album. We didn't get the second one. So I ain't got Listen, it. Listen, Nelly <laughs> said, Nelly said he let them niggas use the studio for free. Him, his wife, all of that. They used the studio for free. Never got a dime. Ali oh. said the same shit about Chingy. So apparently St. Louis people just letting everybody use their studios <laughs> and stay with them. And ain't catching nobody up. <laughs> That's why I ain't been no rappers from St. Louis. Where the fuck is Jay Quan at? I ain't seen Jay Quan in 20 years, literally. I ain't even tipsy no Boy, more. Here comes the two mm-hmm. to, the to the three to the, to the four. four. You're You're like, like, this guy used my studio. He won't pay me. Hey, you can use my studio. He won't pay me. And then it's like, it goes on and on. <laughs> Gee, that's literally what's going on. I ain't heard a St. Louis rapper in years. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. tipsy. Hood Hop is a masterpiece. I ain't seen him in a minute. <laughs> He in the club, what? Washing the dishes? Right third, right third. Oh, no, no. Chingy uh, got... Right up, baby. He a conspiracy theorist. Oh, Chingy so no, no, no. He worse than me because I ain't... Never mind. I almost said something. Well, I ain't forget. <laughs> but no, nah, he on he, TikTok. He doing right third, but he talking about the Coon and Lini and fucking third. I'm like, huh? Oh, where's the bitches that shaking ass? I don't care about hey, your we gonna chakra. Get it right here. It's the remix track stars. Shouts out to uh, Trina. I think her birthday this week. Yeah, she said. You know how I feel yeah, about you, baby. in the club like we just don't care. That's what she said. But she is a Florida woman, so she probably couldn't read. Shout out to Trina. <laughs> the baddest bee. And she Miami, so yeah. Trina said, I make them eat it while my period on a little nasty hoe. Red bone, but it just... So when you were talking about blood earlier, right? I was going to get to that. Um, <laughs> always put a towel down, fellas. Let's move on. Gang Shout grill. out to them vampires. Yeah, gang grill, for real. Gang, <laughs> gang. <laughs> yeah, put the towel down. Two, 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 two. Preferably uh, a brown one. So when that bitch soak in, it just look black. <laughs> look like motor oil. Hey, no, you don't want to get the, you don't want to use a white towel to afterwards be like, look what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> look at it. Look at it. Yeah, no, it just look like. I mean, you, know I mean, you, you carry it on like Samoa Joe carried on that towel. My God, <laughs> Joe! Joe just come out with the towel. Why was he even fixing a muffler before she said he got? You got to own black towels. No, no white towels. No, no white towels. No, no. Get the brown one. Get the brown one. They kind of blend in. If you get a black one, it oh. might be a little, little something there. Mama, like, they talking nasty. Hey. Mama, they nasty <laughs> you mentioned a couple names recently. Who were they? Listen, man, they call me the problem, but you could call You say what, mama? Y'all talking, uh, X-rated stuff and all that. That's Banks. No, ma'am. Banks no, ma'am. This. And he said, he said, you got to put a towel down and all this stuff. I'm, I never. She said, that's nasty. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself, Banks. That's what she said. I'm definitely not ashamed about the things I want to do to you, mama. I can't believe... You've mentioned a couple names recently. Who were they? Listen, man. They called me the problem, but you could call me the can man because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it. 